Changing your phone and cartridge can be quite a complicated and fiddly job if you've never done it before. So I'm here today to walk you through step by step exactly how to change and set up your new phone or cartridge. Either you're wanting to change a cartridge or you've just got your turntable and are looking to set things up for the first time. Either way, the first step you need to do is secure the tone arm in place with a cable tie or similar device. To remove an existing cartridge, grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers and carefully pull the gold connecting cables away from the cartridge body. Once this is done, using a small flat head screwdriver, loosen the two screws located at the top of the head shell. The old cartridge body can then be removed and placed to the side. Attaching the new cartridge is as simple as doing these steps in reverse. Make sure the stylus guard is fully in place before handling the cartridge as this is a prime time to accidentally knock it. Once the screws are retightened and the tone arm cables reattached according to colour, you're ready for the next step. The next step is to align the cartridge so that it tracks the grooves equally on both sides as effectively as possible for the entire duration of the record. To do this, you'll need the aid of an alignment protractor, which is supplied with your project turntable but can be purchased separately if needed. Hook your protractor over the spindle on your turntable and swing it round to underneath the tone arm. Now, having removed the stylus guard, slowly lower the tone arm onto the marked point on the protractor. The aim here is to get the cartridge to line up square to the markings on the paper. Seeing as you'd be incredibly lucky if it was already correct, it will likely be necessary to loosen the head shell screws and slightly rotate the cartridge. Once you've done this, lift the tone arm up again and move it to the inner section of the protractor. Repeat the same steps until you're happy that it fits within the markings. Now move it back to the outside and recheck. Again, by trial and error, keep jumping between the two until you reach a point where the cartridge is lined up correctly according to both points. Balancing the tone arm is a simple but crucial job to avoid damaging various parts of your turntable and records. The aim here is to get the tone arm to float horizontally parallel to the turntable platter. To do this, simply slide or twist your counterweight back and forth in small increments using trial and error to achieve the desired result. Then, rotate the entire counterweight to set, using a tracking force gauge, the amount of downforce recommended by the turntable manual or new cartridge information. If you wish to use an electronic tracking force gauge, you can now measure and adjust the counterweight carefully. Some turntables have counterweights with numerical dials on. This allows you to easily, roughly set the downforce without a gauge. All that's left now is to pop on your anti-skating weight on the relevant groove and you're good to go. Put on a familiar record and have a listen. At the end of the day, it's your turntable, so the aim is to have it sound great to you. Easy as that. Why not check out our channel for further how-tos as well as first look videos of new hi-fi equipment. Thanks for watching.